And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some more standard shakeup. That's what we're going to be doing today on this New Year's Day stream. We're going to be playing a lot of standard shakeup because it looks like it's going to be just a, a fun format. As you can see, it has a large band list, uh, lots of red and green, um, and a little bit of blue and black. Not so much white cards. They're not really banned. But so basically, this is just playing best of one standard. Um, same rules as best of one standard, except for with this ban list of just the most popular cards in the format to just sh shake things up. I mean, that's the name of the format. And uh, so we're, we're going to be playing a lot of different decks today and having fun with it. This one uh, is going to be Abzan Hero. That's what we're going to be playing to start with. So we kind of tuned it for the standard shakeup event specifically put this back up on this screen so here's our deck um, I really like this deck just in standard I think it has awesome interaction for all of the different um, for all the different permanents that are in standard and this is just one of my favorite decks to play you know we get to play these really fun six mana planeswalkers Kenrith is cool Tulsimer Kethis the hidden hand is really good um, go really like Vraska Golgari Queen Basically, the only changes we made for like the normal deck that I would play for this event is I'm taking out Dispark. Because <clears throat> a lot of the permits that we're trying to Dispark are gone. Fires of Invention, even Wilderness Reclamation, but Embercleave. Uh, stuff like that. And there's just a lot of aggro because it is best of one. So instead of playing Disparks, we're playing a second Legion's End in the main and a third Oath of Kaya in the main. Oath of Kaya is just a, a really key card here because it triggers Hero of Precinct 1. It, of course, gains life. Um, it costs two mana when you have Kethis in play. And it's an awesome card to sacrifice for Vraska Golgari Queen. It's a good card to have in your graveyard for Kethis as well. Oath of Kaya is a really nice one. So we're getting an extra copy of that in here. All right, but yeah, so like our first two decks that we're playing in the standard shakeup are two that I think are just really, really strong, and I think they get some good wins with. Um, but but then also we're going to be playing some jank today. We're going to be playing Selesnya Elves and Jeskai Kaikar and some some decks, Bioessence Hydra, and uh, we're going to be playing Mirror, um, the whatever the Mirror card is. I already forgot what that card's called. Magic Mirror. There you go. Magic Mirror. We're going to play some Magic Mirror. Playing some stuff we wouldn't normally play in standard. So it should be a fun day. Shaking it up. New year, new format. We're, we're going to play, I don't know, either like seven games or nine games of each deck. Either seven or nine, kind of depending on how long they take. So yeah, this should just be refreshing. And um, playing against some different stuff. Okay, I will keep. It's a good hand. Yeah, good job, Ether. All right, so waiting for our opponent to do something. <laughs> he forgot to cut this was not just a historic card. Definitely an underplayed card in standard. Definitely underplayed. <clears throat> They're taking a long time. Oh, there's no time limit in this, is there? Is their strategy just to just sit there and wait until the opponent concedes, and that's how they get their seven wins? Because there's there's no time limit. Right? Like, it doesn't seem like there's any time limit. We're just going to move on. Obviously, we're not counting that. Like, will they time out? There is? Okay. It, did, it really didn't seem like it. I liked our first hand better. Uh, can we just keep that first one? I 
If I was on the draw, I'd mulligan, but I think on the play, we could probably keep this. Need white mana. Yeah, so y'all are saying that there's the turn timer. It really didn't seem like it. They were they were just sitting there forever. Hey Storm. I waited longer than 10 seconds. Yeah, Mono Black Aggro is great. Beat Simic Flash a couple of times, and then beat some other aggro decks. I would like to draw a land here so that I can play Tulsimer or Kenrith and not just, there we go, and utilize the Paradise Druid's white mana, not just play Golgari Queen. With the standard shakeup event here, we don't have to worry about Embercleave. There's no Embercleave. No Questing Beast, no Ember Cleave. Makes life a little easier. Yeah, Orzhov is vi viable and standard. Yeah, Orzhov has a lot of good interaction to Spark, Mortify, Kaya, and Oath of Kaya. Good interaction for artifacts and enchantments. So yeah, they would have played the Pelt Collector first before attacking. They would have grown the, grown the Pelt Collector one extra time. That's why they were saying, oops. <clears throat> Hope they can't kill Kenrith. No, they can't kill Kenrith. Boo. So if I play Golgari Queen, I kill the Pell Collector. I play Soren, I get to tick up and kill D Domri with the tick up. But the problem with doing that is then they play Lovestruck Beast, make Pell Collector a 4-4, and attack in at Soren. That's just 4 damage. So I'm going to do that. I did not stop this fight, but I, I will. <laughs> Time. Because at that point, I can have Golgari Queen, because that probably taps him out. I can have Golgari Queen and Mortify, kill Pelt Collector, and Lovestruck Beast the next turn. They're attacking first. 
Probably Collision Colossus. So <clears throat> if they have Colossus, this goes to a 7-4. 7 minus seven 4 is 3. It does not kill Soren. If I don't block, they kill Soren. I think that's okay. No, I should block. <laughs> I feel nothing anymore. Blocking, they still, you know, they use the Colossus. I still get to cut this back. I'm good at what I, do. I guess it's basically the and exact same. Really? Don't yourself. By like having Golgari Queen plus Mortify available. Sweet. Bunch of cool cards. All right, we're one to know. Does anybody have any? Uh, special plans for New Year. I, of course, am streaming all day. Hmm. I think we're going to have to mulligan. I don't think we can keep... Keep this too high of a curve. Oh, nice. He just came back from having some fondue. That sounds good. Yeah, Orzov looks to get looks like it's getting better next set just from just from the puppy dog. And um, Gray Merchant certainly can't hurt either. Would I rather have Garrick or Ugin? I'm gonna try keeping Garrick. You're reha rehabbing your knee and just laying there. Hey, that's not a bad day, though. You're accomplishing stuff by just laying there. So that's good. <laughs> they really want us to draw our six drops. Oh, my gosh. That's every single one of our six drops. All four of them. They really want us to draw six drops. Yeah, the gods will have an impact. Maybe not a huge impact, but they will. I'm going to be waiting to fetch because I don't want to shuffle these cards back yet. But later on in the game, it'd be just fine to shuffle them back. So now Soren can pick off the Narsent. We don't have to worry about them playing Teferi and bouncing because Teferi is banned. Is there anything else in their, their deck that would be banned? Uh, Bone Crusher Giant. And 
basically just Teferi and maybe Bonecrusher Giant or Brazen Borrower if they have either of those cards. Yeah, Teferi's banned in the standard checkup. I don't like that card anyway. Oh, we're getting a five mana devotion cycle. Like Gary. Gray Merchant. I've never really liked calling Gray Merchant Gary. That's just me, though. Today's forecast is cloudy with a high chance of me winning. So you had a crazy idea for Gruel Fires playing Finale of Devastation on turn five with the help of Fires and Iron Crag feet. Okay. Cause yeah, you play fires and then you untap with fires, you play iron crag feet, you get an extra so you get seven more mana, you still have you have your, your like five lands you play, so you get to finale for ten. That does sound pretty sweet. I wish I would have kept Dugan instead of Garrick. No. Watch out. <laughs> you cannot run your heart. Good aim. I remember. Pain what hurts. a mess I've made. Yeah, donation decks are twenty dollars, and all you have to do is send me. There's there's information down below in the info panel about it. But basically, all you have to do is send me a link to your deck list and let me know when you want me to play it. Like all the times are open, so you you just let me know whatever what day you want me to play the deck, and what time slot you want me to play it. Going bye bye, as well. I'm very very easy going about them. Prison realm. That's rude sending Garrick to prison. The Golgari Queen says no prison. So does Mortify. Virtual Light with the Twitch Prime sub. Hopefully that's the correct name there. Thank you kindly for the Twitch Prime sub. Much appreciated. Our six sub of the day. Did let them use their mana on the absorb. I don't have to be too like the good news about Prison Realm is it means they're probably not playing Planar Cleansing. Your 
rise and shine. Don't want to shock in the overgrown tomb. We're only at 36. You never know. That T life could have mattered. Yeah, maybe I should get Liliana in play against a Wrath deck so we draw more cards. Yeah, we're going to be playing some standard shakeup today. New year, new format. I don't want to just play Tulsimer. Basically, if I, if I play Tulsimer here, I get to draw two cards. That sounds sweet. And then I can just bring it back with Soren. So I don't have to keep ticking up Soren. The only way that this punishes me is if they have another Prison Realm tech, or like something that exiles Liliana first and then Clarion. That's the only way I'm getting punished for just throwing down Tulsimer to, to bring back with Soren and draw a couple cards. <laughs> Soren Vengeful Life Lord. <laughs> we are a Life Lord over here. Oh no! Uh, Narset. A third one of those, that's... Yep, so they need a third Prison Realm or a third Narset. Boo. So three, four, five, six, seven. I'm one short of killing them. Shuffled with passage, right? Yeah. Yeah, that nurse it. Keeping me from drawing all those cards. Yeah, we we did just re rebuild our, our battlefield very easy. All right, two and zero. Got the card style for Escape to the Wilds. Hmm. Tulsmer is pretty cool. I'm kind of assuming that we're playing against aggro and that Tulsmar is going to be great. As long as we untap with Kethis, Tulsmar only costs four mana. Because Kethis is awesome. Whoa. 
Whoa. Slang fire. <clears throat> Maybe you should be playing Midnight Reaper here to help dig instead of Kethis. Oh, Shonda Tribal. Shonda Tribal is awesome. Yeah, Shonda Tribal is awesome. Yep, should have played Midnight Reaper last turn, but. They can just minus two the Chandra to kill the Midnight Reaper. But I obviously just need to draw lands. Yeah, good call with playing a bunch of Interplanar Beacons. I probably should have done that yesterday with playing Chandra Travels, play a bunch of Interplanar Beacons. And also Slangfire. I did forget about Slangfire. I forgot about that card too. I'm not sure how much I really want Slangfire, but that one's fine. But... Yeah, the interplanar beacon. That's a good call. Good, good call. Your life's about to end. Oh, I won't forgive this. Need to draw more land. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something new. Well, very good for me. They did not have six mana, Chandra. <laughs> Time for a drink. And if Soren stays with enough loyalty where I can minus three next turn, I could bring back Kethis. And then, especially if we draw a land, play one of these six drops. So I can play Tulsimer. No. Stop killing my Kathis. Poor Kathis. Do not defy the designs of an error. Secrets manifest before you. So playing the Garrick because it's my most efficient way of killing this 2-2. Then I can have... Um, six attack Ugin. Oh, right. Wolves fight Tulsimer. Wow. My deck does too much cool stuff. I forgot about that. The doggos. I know I need to get the doggos. Yeah, y'all are right. Y'all are right. Should have got some some puppers. <clears throat> I can bring Garrick back because you know we we do have Kethis. Don't forget about that. Could could have just brought Garrick back, but I'll play Liliana. Liliana's cool too. Like a fun new Our toy. deck just has too many awesome cards. What do you want me to do? Yeah, just one draw land. Hmm. 
no, this this is a very good best of three deck. This is one of my favorite decks to play in standard right now. But we're just playing it with you know we're doing the standard shakeup deck day today, and none of the cards are banned in the standard shakeup, and so it's even more powerful here. I know, poor Garrick. I know. I, I've definitely done that plenty of times, the Tulsimer Garrick thing, but... Uh, I missed it that time. Crawl, Happy New Year. The Standard Shake-Up Event. These S's stand for. All right, I guess we got white mana. Hmm. They'll ban, you know, 10 red cards, but people will still find a way to play mono red. Ugin. That thing's expensive. Well, I'd rather draw the castle than draw the Ugin. I could only choose one or the other. Pretty good hand. We need to draw. Oh, th these things are rogues. It's awesome. I need to draw an untapped land. That's not an untapped land. Two, three, four, five. So I'm just taking lethal right now because of the Ten Street Dodger being a rogue. All right, good hand. They got me. My hand was just too awkward with the with the tap lands. I didn't get to play my stuff. They got me. Yeah, sometimes you lose to red deck wins because they get a god hand. Yep, that happens. Uh, let's see. Especially with best of one, you know, you don't you don't get to really do anything about it. You just move on to the next one. I'm gonna keep this Tulsimer. I'm gonna keep it to do stuff. See what that stuff is. Looks like Loyal Pegasus was the card. So they can play Banner plus another one drop.
grow bored with this fight. Oh, that was a good draw. Hmm. Okay, they're saving the fairy guide mother. Come on, land. Yeah. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Now Kenrith can return Tulsimer. So I don't mind trading off Tulsimer. Because it's pretty unlikely that they draw removal for, for Kenrith. So I'm deciding instead of um, instead of bringing back Tulsimer, I want to kill the Luxodon. Now, I, I guess I would have just died if they had. If they drew another one of those things that gave their creature flying. I basically just wanted to do this to kill the Luxodon. Yeah, this should be over. <clears throat> I wish I could keep killing my Tulsimer. Was a risky turn. Settle. No settle. Yeah, Kenrith. Yeah, Kenrith is so strong.
All right, Paradise Druid is pretty important. Because... Um, this Paradise Druid gives us red mana to be able to give our creatures trample. Put one counter on the Tulsmar, putting two counters on the Paradise Druid. So it can block. I guess that doesn't matter because the red. I guess I should just put him put them over on Tulsmar also. Cause they're gonna tap Kenra. They didn't attack, so don't need to <clears throat> put counters on Druid. Dang. Give creatures lifelink. I guess that's just not as good as just activating Kenrith more. Of course, we have to give all creatures trample and haste after we attack. We don't want to do it before attacks because we don't want to give their law root enforcer haste to be able to, to tap stuff. So I didn't want to like play Soren and bring back the, the 2 2 and then do haste. Because then they would be able to um, tap with their Law Rune Enforcer also. But yeah, no matter how they blocked, even if they blocked with everything, we had lethal there. Alright, four and one. Can we... Yeah, this deck's really fun, Azrael. I think you'll like it. Spell. That was a land I'd put to the bottom. Spell. Keep on top. I can play that turn four. They don't kill my Kethis. Hey, we got a brand new sub. Kimonra. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to pay the life. I don't want them to kill my Paradise Druid. I don't want them to lead into that thing. Our seventh wonderful sub of the day. All right, that's a good sign. So do I just minus Liliana? Would that be crazy? I don't really want them to just like murderous rider kill Liliana. 
and then I get nothing from it. This doesn't seem like that bad of a minus. I guess I could have attacked for three first. That's a good card to Legion's End. It's a very good card to Legion's End. Boom. So yeah, if I did not Liliana Minus, they did not have a... Oh, Murder Strider's not even in this format. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's not even in the format. But yeah, they would have had the five mana. They would have been able to play a, a GCG and then adapt it immediately. But Which would have then made it pretty easy for them to play the, the Great Henge afterwards. So it did certainly work out. Alright, so we're on the draw. We need to draw land and we have the temple. I think it's not that difficult to draw land being on the draw with the temple. Yeah, I've won all the stuff from the, the shakeup already now. But we're still playing a lot of a standard shakeup today. I think it could be real fun. Alright, Azorius Flyers. Hey Joe, happy new year. <laughs> Stop drawing millions of cards. Hmm. If this was an untapped land, that would be really nice. Cause then I you know I could play this, play cat this, and then next turn shock and then have double Othakaya. It's not an untapped land. I think I'll just go with the forest, and I'll just have single Othakaya next turn now. Because I'm playing forest, I, have, I don't have the ability. I could shock with Overgrown Tomb, and then if we draw untapped white, we would be able to play both, but I don't think that that's worth it. I want. I definitely want to Othakaya the, the Lord, right? The three mana, two, three flyer. Oath of Kaying, a fairy miscreant, doesn't seem too worth it. My best draw would be Tulsimer. Tulsimer is... That's the best draw. Kenra's a good one, too. Kenneth can gain a lot of life. No, I couldn't. I couldn't really double oath um, because this doesn't play. This doesn't come into. This is, comes into play tapped, so I couldn't double oath. And you know we have the forest and everything, but even just setting that up, I couldn't. I couldn't set up a double oath turn. Sometimes they just have that. Okay. Do we do should we do seven or not? We'll just do seven games. 
All right, so so there we go. So there's our seven games. We went five and two with Abzan Hero. You know, just ran into two times, you know, with best of one. It's just going to happen sometimes, like where you just play against an opponent that has, um, you know, just a really, really strong hand and you just can't quite stabilize. That's just going to happen. You know, the double rally of wings or the mono red hand that we faced. We have a lot of good stuff against aggro, but, you know, sometimes you just don't get to stabilize. Um, you know, if they did, you know, like if they didn't have the negate, you know, if we got to play both Othakayas and one of those, you know, they only had the two creatures. But that's not how it works. Anyway, I really like this deck. I think this deck is awesome. Um, I think it's very good with best of three as well. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you want to see this in best of three, you know, check out my videos. I played it just a few days ago and I've played it a good amount now, you know, you can look for Abzan Hero. Um, I, I really like it over there with all of the tools to fight the uh, Cauldron Familiar decks if you want to beat up those in best of three. But that's it here for Abzan Hero. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.